Wow. Everyone knows BlackRock, Fidelity, Vanguard. That's a given. They own everything. These are trillion level AUMs, asset under management companies, right? A few can be in that category. But guess what? You also have your sharks, your shrimps. What do I mean? Well, the people and the companies that own less than a billion, around a billion, and millions in asset under management. And you and I can never compare probably to those companies, but even in that premier league, you still have classifications. Well, not only the Black Rocks, the Fidelities, the Bangers are registering to get their Bitcoin ETFs, you also have these low tier players. And one just updated based on the SEC's comments. This is Bitwise. And they are going to have a new ticker symbol. News are out. More players coming in. Not only your top dogs that everyone knows that when they say something, your ARK can best and more. Everybody's like, dude. But the more I'm learning about Bitcoin ETFs, the more I'm kind of getting to know the pages and the language, the syntax. It's not difficult. It's not easy to, uh, you know, better put. Because we all want Bitcoin to rally. We all like the God candles and everything. But there's real companies behind each and each of those ETFs, right? And I'm here to tell you why it matters because there's a lot of products they offer and guys, they're all for grabs. But here's the deal. Here's the big dilemma. When you're in crypto as South the crypto investors, what are you supposed to buy? The real asset or an ETF? Well, that's up to you. Let me tell you the full story, everybody. Don't go anywhere. Don't forget to smash the like button and consider subscribing. Bitwise, it's just another company that holds millions and probably billions of different assets, right? In as an under management, they have ETFs already. And what we learn is the following: they file an, an updated spot Bitcoin ETF based on the SEC's feedback. Just happened today. People are bullish and they're like, "This is really good." And I I concur. This is what's going on right now. And this one with James, and he told us that they amended right the application. And right here we can tell how the updated ticker symbol is going to be BITB. Why? When you come here, Bitwise, and I'm looking for it, they already have Ethereum, Bitcoin, and Ethereum Web3 different ETFs products. And here it is, BITC. This was the previous one. Now it's going to be BITB. It's not been updated here. So I'm telling you, why? Because we have learned, let's go to... IBTC, that's the one from BlackRock. ARC, that's, let me find it, ARC A, there you go. This is the one from ARC Invest. These are all Bitcoin ETFs that are ready to rumble to be approved. At this point, when you are here, you are on ongoing process with the SEC. And they're telling you, they're advising you, they're recommending, they're letting you know to review, to improve, to change things. It's exactly what happened here. So, guys, can you imagine what's going to happen with it all get approved? Well, you and I know, here it is. The price of Bitcoin, guys, it's been on everyone's watch list. I've explained early in the video why I think it's important, because the God candles are going to come. Because of all of these companies trying to be the best they can to attract their own investors and institutional investors. When you come here, per se, about Bitwise, you're going to see that they have a lot of different things, especially this is a crypto company first, that they're trying to be the number one crypto in the USA when it comes to offering ETFs. Decent, right? So BlackRock, Fidelity, Banger, ARK Invest, they're all trying to do that which makes sense. It's going to be a battle in the institutional investor arena. You and I, we don't play there. We're in the retail investor arena. The Robinhoods, the Coinbase, the Binance, the Crypto.com, there's a lot of money there, right? But nothing even close to what the institutional players have. The governments, the players, um, education, research, massive trillion-level companies and more. Like It's going to be another different ball game. So. I am excited once that money comes in and once the SEC says, yes, 
you can probably know that that $34,500 for Bitcoin at $1.27 trillion right now, this video today, Wednesday, is going to be nuts and just leave it in the dust. That's what I'm talking right here. I'm pretty positive to see in a million level company, according to some sources, I see some saying 1 billion, some saying a couple of millions. The point is that they are an underdog to BlackRock and Fidelity and other ones because they have in the in the trillion level category, which is a lot of money, which is decent. So now all of this come Bitcoin. When I do that Bitcoin, I can get the ARK invest. So there's a total of 17. Let's take a look at this. There's one here, Bitcoin. What do I say? CO. Because the name of the description is so long sometimes that it doesn't reach the end to complete the full word. So if you can, if you want to get more, if I just say BITC, I think it's referring to the same one, right? So BITC 18. On this page, everybody, we have exchange traded funds. There's thousands or hundreds of them right here as I'm going and scrolling down. Well, 18 of them have to do with Bitcoin. Isn't that exciting? What's going to happen when the SEC approves most of all of them? You have Ethereum 2, Ether, Ethereum, Ethereum. So there's some about Ethereum. There's some about Web3. There's one Web3, and that's the one from Bitwise. So that's what I'm saying. Bitwise might not be the largest in the Bitcoin category, but they're branching out to the Web3 and different specific niche industries inside crypto and blockchain. See? So it's pretty interesting. Um, it's all here on dtcc.com. You want to come and check it out. So I like it. Um, pretty positive. And it's bullish news at the end of the day. Let's go to the one hour here. Looks like this, guys. 34 and a half. Bullish. It's coming up, coming down. It doesn't really want to give up. There's people that are buying, longing, some of them shorting. Because there could be a retracement, big one, to the levels of $31,000, $32,000. This is the 23rd. It's 48 hours later. Obviously, maybe by the end of the week, if Bitcoin cannot pass the $35,000 resistance, it could easily come and retrace back. That is absolutely possible. But it can also continue breaking, passing 36 and beyond. What do you think is going to happen, everybody? Well, you've been updated. More good news for Bitcoin for the entire community. I think we're really heading higher, whether it's in October or November. We're getting there, everybody. Really happy for the last quarter of 2023. Now you know this is going to get insanely hot and competitive in the institutional arena. Peace.